I forgot what it felt like to work a 16-hour shift. And while it's not the worst thing in the world, I don't really know. My head hurts. I feel like my blood sugar was low because I mistakenly took two of my... The shift was not great. Guys, we've decided to take the kids to this indoor play place. Um, I'm waiting on Auntie Jody. Look at me, his hair back. And I'm waiting on the bus. I said I was gonna Uber, but the bus is very quick and it's not that far. So Mia and I are here. Mia is looking around so much. This, I wanna see how she operates on the bus. But yeah, we're about to go. Honey, look in your ears and I clean it all the time. Darn it. You guys, I have this thing about me where I don't like to look in people's ears and it's dirty. Look at her, ready to sleep. Finished up at the nail salon, y'all. Did my nails, they're nice and French. Now I'm gonna get a 15 minute chair massage because my back brutal. But I love my nails and I love when the man does them. They're so cute. Man's in the back. About to go. So guys, we went to um walgreens and i got me a, a few pouches they had like four for seven dollars and this is why i like going to walgreens because nine times out of ten they have like some little stuff that you can buy for and they're like pretty good so i bought her four pouches and i gave her one they're three and a half ounces and she sucked one out like it's a bottle of juice so I gave her that a while ago and I gave her some water because when we were in the nail salon, I was trying to give her some of her water and her bottle was basically hemorrhaging. So I had to stop and like fix it a little bit and I gave her some water and now she's literally ready to fall asleep. But we're not far from the house because I decided that this time I'm not going to go that far. So we're literally damn near right there. Right now around like the corners of my nails you know they have like the annoying little whatever but like it doesn't break the whole thing i was gonna get like a little daisy um flower pattern and one i couldn't find a good one in time and two i just didn't feel like sitting there and like going back and forth while the man is trying to obviously want to accommodate me and two you know accommodate me with mia she was really good she's always been really good when we go there but um you know this time she just wasn't really having it so by the time we get home it's gonna be around 10 minutes i'd presume and um i want to clean her up and like we're gonna take a little nap for the evening so that really is the plan i got her some more formula and i got her some cereal and again, I got her those four little, you know, I went inside of Walgreens and I was supposed to buy an umbrella and I didn't. Mine is falling apart at the seams, but by no means is it like done or anything. When I go home and wash my hands, I think around it will clean up. And of course, whatever didn't fully clean up, oh, whatever didn't fully clean up, I will do it with my, um, with my, with my thing. But it's like nothing that takes away from the style of the nails or anything. And I really do love them. I feel like he did a good job. When that man does it, I really enjoy them. It's not... It is not at all by any means cool. It's kind of hot. But I feel like if I keep the thing on, it's going to help me to, you know, work up a sweat a little bit. Dang, it's trash day back here. We've already taken out our oars. When I was in the grocery store a while ago, too, the lady, she lives where I live, too. She's like, oh, you want to get the container with the formula? And I'm like, girl, no. Trash day's already gone. And I'm not trying to hoard so much ca trash in the apartment. Especially right now since my mom is leaving. And I'm really trying to clean it up. Because when she leaves also, I'm going to do one good spring clean. Anyway, we're outside. Gotta go. Guys, it's day two. As y'all know, mommy is leaving. And we're going outside. Yet another day again. We're going to go see if we can get a brown barrel. Along with. What else? I have a dental appointment at 11. I want to go to Dunkin' and buy something to eat. Hmm. 
she lost my damn card. I have to lock it, so I'm gonna unlock it, use it on Apple Pay. And then um, it's a good thing I took a picture of it. And then I'm gonna tell the bank that it's lost and they should send another one. But we're going outside. We're on our way to, first stop is gonna be Duncan. And then after Duncan, After Duncan, I'm going to go to the dentist. <laughs> My teeth are not gonna be clean, but it's okay. So it's a Friday morning. My mom is leaving. I'm headed home. I'm really kind of sad to see her go. I'm gonna miss her so much the other day, <laughs> like within her last couple of days. I saw her sniffing me as little <laughs> outfit when we took it off to feed her. I'm gonna miss her so much. And I'm gonna miss that she was here and just hopped out so much and like was able to spend a good amount of time with Mia and I separate from like the helping out even though that's a very big thing oh uh, Mia has grown to love her so much the first night she didn't cry when she met her but then I ended up leaving to go to work like an hour or two later and she woke up and like she cried a little bit you know but ever since then they have been inseparable and I really do love that for mommy and I love that for Mia because there's one thing about my mom, she loves her grandkids and her grandkids love her too. So that was so very special because she was there with my other daughter, my brother's daughter, just basically kind of all our kids. And that was great. So now that she's leaving, I'm kind of sad, but she comes back in like a couple of months again. And we really can't wait to have her again. She has her bowels packed yesterday. We use the entire day to pack a box for her and um, one barrel for my sister because she's pregnant. Baby, the box is sitting outside. I'm gonna enter the picture here. I'll show you guys the box sitting outside. And yesterday just showed me that I'm not really cut out for this packing box, packing barrel life. Obviously, if I have to, then I will. But also, she packed it and the man who was supposed to come pick it up, he didn't pick it up, one. And two, he didn't call her. She's calling him and he's not answering his phone and he didn't call that, but like earlier, I heard it sounded like she was talking to him on the phone and basically just giving him a lip service, letting him know this is unprofessional. But also, I told her I would have left a bad review because he is not that great. And as a businessman, he's not a great businessman either. Like, who does that? Anyway, it sounded like she was on the phone with him and they've made arrangements to like pick it up. So, like, I'm headed home right now to see if one, he's gonna come pick it up this morning because she has to leave here by at least 12. Right now, it's almost eight o'clock so they have four hours to get here and pick it up while she's still here for her to write it up and everything and then um the people who i'm sending my sister's barrel with they're gonna pick that up tomorrow so hopeful and i'm hoping that it does go smoothly because it takes one bad experience to break the entire thing for me but i'm headed home to see and i'm so sad to see her go honestly i'm tired too i have one more shift and i'm off tomorrow i'm gonna be trying out the new nanny tomorrow too because i'm going out um, so, a lot of moving parts here, but that's where we are.